We've been using on-land uh, methods of measuring deformation because it's been easy. It's the seafloor movement that essentially creates a tsunami, and it's the seafloor movement before earthquakes that really cause uh, that locked up energy that we can identify and identify the true tsunami potential later on. We're actually looking at affixing something to the seafloor. And so this is a harder problem and we just need to focus a little bit of energy and refocus some engineering for tools that are, that are better suited for that. Some of the elevated highways or interstates as we would refer to them, in fact, uh, though they were not designed to have any sort of a tsunami protection role, ended up limiting the, the, the extent of, to which the tsunami came on shore and clearly limited or saved additional casualties in that case. People are sort of talking about uh, designing future systems for dual purpose. So maybe it's not just the embankment to support the highway, but it also is either a second level of tsunami defense or in fact maybe even a primary defense as well.